Hi everyone, my name is Akash Bansal. We are going to play a game called Lost in Translation. We are going to play this with three participants. I'm going to pick the first participant and explain to him in a very simple idea what Web 3.0 represents. This person will then explain it to the next person. The second person will then continue explaining this to the third person, who then finally comes back to me and explain to me what he finally now understands. I will then reveal myself and judge how much information was lost along the journey. So have you heard about this new concept called Web3? I have no idea about Web3. Okay. So I'm going to explain to you what Web3 is all about. The creators of the internet, when they first built this internet, the idea was anybody sitting in any corner of the world should be able to open up a computer and read anything or access any information. With that idea of decentralizing information access, the internet was created. That was 1.0. 2.0, which is the next version, which is what we're living in right now, right? That brought in one huge change, which is interactivity. Not only could you read information on the web page, you could click on it, you could re react to that information. But what that led to is the current scenario. I'm sure you must have heard about all of these news about the big tech, right? And how they collect all of your information. All of that information about your actions is leading to them creating your digital avatar. For example, let's say Google knows about you, hmm. right? It's because Google can now build something called a context. It is leading to intelligent softwares and all of that is happening because of the data you provided. And the companies are making money from this. They are selling your context to advertisers. So it needs to be corrected and that's where Web3 comes in. First of all, Web3 is powered by blockchain. Idea of blockchain that it decentralizes information access, it decentralizes value distribution. And blockchain has brought in some two, three very interesting applications on it. Have you heard about cryptocurrencies by the way? Yes, yes. You have, have, right? So cryptocurrencies are like money on the net. Well, let's say for example, you have one Bitcoin. Let's okay. just say, right? That's a lot of money, but you have one Bitcoin. And I also have one Bitcoin, right? If we exchange our Bitcoins, will it make any difference to either of us? No, it's you give me yours, I give you mine, but it's still one one. This is one type of token on the blockchain. Okay, these are called fungible tokens. So let's say you have a painting, right? And I also have the same painting. Yours is painted by Mr. M. F. Hussain. Mine is painted by some regular guy. If we exchange our paintings now, will it be of the same value? You're not going to give it to me, right? Because you're going to say that's my M. F. Hussain painting. Mine is a regular painting, right? So the value, while it's still the same painting, right? It looks exactly the same, but it's still unique. Right? And these are essentially an idea of non-fungible tokens, wherein okay. every single piece of that token is unique. With this idea of NFTs and blockchain and some other examples of applications that blockchain has brought in, right, there is this new idea of an internet wherein everything is virtual with the VR glasses. But what's so big about this new vision that Facebook has brought out? When you put the entire world on the internet right, and you, you expect one company to own it, Will it work? It would be a very centralized. Like. Exactly. What is sir? What is sir? So all of this together and the new idea of a decentralized internet because of blockchain is what Web3 conceptualizes. It's not about access to data. It's about if somebody takes your data and makes money from it, hmm. do you get a share in that money? Uh, no, right now. Right, so Web3 changes that. Okay. You've just learned Web3 from me. We're going to play a little game where you now okay. I'm going to try and explain this to somebody else. No! God, please, no! No! Hi. Hi. Do you have any idea about Web3? I know a little bit about Metaverse or stuff, but not Web3. Web3 is a new generation of an internet. Hmm. When the internet was created, hmm. the idea of a creator is to make a platform where people can get the information. So in web 1.0, they have created a digital platform hmm. where you can go and you can read the information. But okay. it was a one way communication. Now what is in 2.0 is hmm. the administrator is taking all the information. Let me give you one example, like you are surfing on internet and hmm. suddenly you are just getting a page of Amazon where 
some uh, advertising products are there. Mm. You are clicking on that product and you yeah. are just spending some five minutes yeah. uh, for that product. Now, administrator is taking the record of your activity, like how much time you have spent on it. Now, mm. for the next search, uh, just typing online shopping. Mm. So, Google would give you the result mm. on the basis of what you have searched the last time. Mm. Now, what is Web 3.0 is, it is one step further to this. Okay. Like whatever the time you are spending on the internet, it mm. is being recorded by the creator and mm. it is also being sold to the, the third, third party companies also. Okay. Like is, is NFT comes into this somewhere? Yeah, uh, I have got the idea about the tokens. NFT. It's uh, its full form is non-fungible tokens. Uh, tokens. Yeah, For example, you are owning a cryptocurrency. Okay. So it has become your asset. Yeah. It's your personal asset. Yeah. Everyone is going to have their own asset. Somebody uh, and everyone, everyone's asset would be having a unique value. Correct. Okay. So that's that's uh, the concept, that's of, the web concept of Web three. Now uh, I want you to explain the same concept to someone else. Oh hell no! Hey, hi, I'm Bodhi. Hi, Sachin here. Hi. So, Bodhi, what do you know about this concept, uh, Web3? I have no idea about the concept of Web3. So, I'll explain you about this Web3 concept. Let's go back to the age where we had no internet. Mm. How was we consuming uh, information? Through books, right? Reading books and doing that. When Web 1.0 came into the picture, we were using that uh, internet to browse something, right? And then uh, 2.0 came. In that, we got an upgrade or we can say there were people then who were monitoring us while we are doing uh, some research or whatever we are doing. We are searching for some stuff online to buy or anything. So those people, we can say giant big companies, they were actually observing our, you can say, fingerprint. They can uh, sell the information to anyone else without our knowledge. Hmm. Because we obviously give them consent, knowingly, unknowingly. Okay. Now the web 3.0. In this 3.0, everything is same except now we are gonna get a credit for that information. If they are selling the information, we uh, have a right to get the uh, credit for it. It may be through a digital currency or something. So 3.0 uh, sums up to this. So I think you got it. Okay, tell me something. It's like just versions of the entire internet. Yes, yes, yes. And who is uploading those versions? I think the creators, the people like us. Okay, okay. I think you got it. And now, can you please share this information to the other person who's coming? Oh, God! Oh, God! Hi, hi. I'm Akash. Akash, so Sachin just uh, explained to me uh, what Web3 is. This is what I understood. The base of it is paisa bana sakte web three mein. You know, okay. ki web one was more about looking at things. Uh, two was more about stealing of things. And third one is uh, if even if you steal the data uh, from somebody else on the web, uh, you will be paid for that. So that is the basic concept of web three that I understood. Uthale re baba, uthale. Mere ko nahi re, in do ano ko uthale. Right. So I've got some idea about it. So, do you think you're in a position to explain the concept to the next person? Well, uh, it turns out I am the expert that started this chain. All right, guys. Uh, do you guys have fun playing? Yeah, man. yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> but before we end this, right, I also want to address one specific topic, right, which is Web3. While it's a very conceptual and a huge idea involving a lot of stakeholders and generational shift on how things are going to work. There are very early grassroots of things that have already started being deployed. So NFTs and Metaverse, right? These are very interesting concepts. And in fact, both of these concepts have live implementations that you can use today, right? And both of these represent a version of Web3 mm. that's coming up. So you must have heard about Facebook. They announced their vision to, to start doing something called a Metaverse, right? Mm -hmm. So what really Metaverse represents is this idea where you can now live the internet and not just oh. see the internet or experience the internet yes. from a computer screen. And the beauty of all of this is this is all being done on the blockchain. So it's all representing Web3. 
So, do you guys think that was good information to have? Yes, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yes. I hope this guy, this has got you guys excited. So, yes. I'm going to wish all of you guys the best of luck. Thank you, Thank you very much. And thanks a lot for playing this game. To learn directly from the experts and fast forward your career, download the Upgrad app. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Yeah.